Hey, Blake, John O'Connor from the Richmond paper. Could you speak about the first uh, 20 minutes and, and perhaps what Richmond regained in that first half after uh, the West Virginia experience? Um, I just think we came out uh, playing with, with high intensity uh, to start the game. You know, West Virginia last game, they kind of took it to us. Um, so we know we had to uh, come out uh, strong and fast as, uh, to start the game off and come out with high energy on both ends of the floor. And um, that's what we did this game. So. Hey, if I could follow by asking you to speak about uh, your shooting, which is uh, you needed a good game. You, you've been having some rough ones, and uh, how, how good the first half must have felt to you personally. Yeah, yeah, these last couple of games, um, I've been struggling, kind of been in the shooting slump. So um, I've been kind of just trying to, you know, adjust in any way I can. And I felt uh, this game, I was um, back to playing, to playing like myself a little bit. I was kind of not playing like myself uh, these last couple of games. So I just got back uh, – uh, used to what I was doing and just letting the game come to me and taking uh, the easy shot. Thank you. Hey, Blake, uh, was, there, was their second half a little more like what you had scouted and expected out of them? Um, not really. I just think the second half, they just came out, um, you know, they just came out and, and got out and transition a little bit more than they did in the first half. You know, a lot of their – a lot of the points uh, to start the second half, it was a lot of transition buckets. And, um, you know, we, we, we had a hard time rebounding the ball, too, which kind of um, got them second chance points. But I think, you know, overall, they just kind of, you know, got out and transitioned a little bit more. But we have to do a better job of, of limiting the transition points. So. Blake, for you, obviously, you know, getting out of the shooting slump was big, you know, three three-pointers tonight. But a lot of it also came attacking the lane and, and really getting to your left hand a lot. How much of it for you, whether it's getting out of a slump or getting hot, really starts with attacking the basket and expanding it from there? Yeah, you know, I think um, for me, attacking the basket uh, is, is, is something that's, that's good for me because I can um, attract defenders and I can kick out or if not, you know, I can, you know, either get a layup or, or, or get to the line early. So I think um, just seeing the ball go in early and, and trying to, you know, find different ways to, to get easy buckets. I get uh, buckets at the rim uh, can, can, can help and, uh, and can progress my game. So. Yeah. On, on the other side of the ball, you know, for Vandy, finding some rhythm in the second half there, a lot of that for them, it seemed like they were getting you guys on the first step a lot, able to penetrate, rotate, kick it out. You know, what did you see from that front, whether it was you were struggling with the first steps and screens, and, and how were you guys able to, to get back to it and level it off and kind of keep them from, from shrinking that lead really past nine? Yeah, to start the second half, they were kind of moving the ball a little bit faster um, than they normally were in the first half. You know, they were um, being more aggressive. They were being more aggressive coming downhill uh, on screens and stuff like that. But we had to just, you know, limit that as much as we can. And, um, you know, and we had to and we had to uh, rebound down the stretch. And I think uh, we did those things uh, down the stretch. It was important. And that's why we uh, kind of ended up with the win. So we just locked down um, when it counted. Anything else for Blake, guys? Yeah, if I could chip in and ask about the quick turnaround here, and obviously this was a quickly arranged game on Friday. How do you move forward and uh, deal with the Ramblers of Loyola Chicago? Um, yeah, we got to, uh, you know, next game, we got to, you know, watch them, get them on those guys. We'll probably do that tonight when we um, get to Indianapolis, you know, get the, get the scout on them and then, uh, Prepare for them and, and try to get another win. Uh, what was different tonight or this afternoon? What were you pleased about in that first half, uh, given Sunday's problems? Well, first half, we, we were great. I mean, we had a 20-plus point lead on an SEC team on the road. So they're, they're, I was pleased with everything. Um, you know, we moved the ball really, really well. They're a team that tries to pressure the ball defensively. Of course, we have some very skilled guys who are good decision makers. I thought they did a great job of that. And defensively in the first half, I thought we were terrific. Uh, close to their shooters, really alert to the scouting report, great ball screen defense. Um, yeah, all around, I thought we were, I thought the first half, we were, we were great. Thank you. Chris, um, in, in the second half, you know, obviously you guys have some struggles defensively at times, but but able to maintain, you know, keep that lead from really shrinking. Felt like a part of that run, though, was, you know, and Blake talked about some of the rebounding for Vanderbilt. I think they had 11 second chance points, 10 offensive rebounds in the second half, and Tyler only had four rebounds tonight. What do you see on the glass in the last 20? Yeah, not good enough. Uh, I thought that, you know, that obviously you're not going to, we're up 24 at half. You're not going to win the game by 48 on the road uh, against an SEC team. 
Uh, but we, we didn't play well enough defensively, and we missed some opportunities on offense, you know, as, as, the, first, as the second half started. They were very aggressive, of course, uh, at both sides of the, of the floor and really aggressive on the backboard. Uh, and we didn't do a good enough job. We, we need to rebound the ball better. That was, how they, that was how they were getting their momentum. You know, and when you're down like that, you're trying to get deflections or, you know, a good hard drive, get to the free throw line or offensive rebounds. And that was really how they, they were able to get some, some momentum and some juice right there because of, because of their offensive rebound. And, and we didn't do a good enough job on the backboard and need to continue to, to work at it and get better at it. And, uh, you know, we're dependent on Tyler to get, to get a lot because he's such a good rebounder. Uh, and I'm confident he'll, he'll, he'll get a lot and, and uh, will continue to, to be a great player for us. Connor's uh, second game back now, had 11 minutes uh, tonight, and, and you weren't just giving him, you know, garbage minutes. I mean, he was in there when that lead got cut to nine and, and you left him in there. What do you see from him tonight? He's a good player. You know, um, you know it's, it's so interesting because he's been at Richmond for a while now, but all of us are really just seeing him play every day, you know, in the last week or so. Um, and so, you know, as his conditioning improves, he'll, he'll command even more minutes. He's a good and versatile defender, very competitive. Uh, and you saw today, he has a bit of a nose for being around the ball. He's a very good shooter. He, he's, he's more of a guard. I mean, we're playing him at the moment at forward, but I, I see his role expanding. He's a good player and a, and a, great, added, uh, a great added piece for us. Chris, uh, last year, the year before, might this game have been even tighter or maybe even the lead gone away just because you're, I mean, your senior Leighton team uh, knows how to stop runs like that and just come yeah. down? I think so. I think a younger team would have a harder time, you know, and even though there aren't fans, uh, there's that game pressure that all of a sudden it was 24 and now it's 18 and now it's 16. So, uh, I think we still would have won with a 24-point lead, but uh, it certainly makes it easier having, you know, like they were trying different things, when to trap our guys, uh, how to rotate out of the trap, and our ball handling showed up in a good way. We, we were able to throw skip passes. We were able to not cross the timeline until it was in our benefit uh, to sometimes push the ball up in transition or, or versus the press sometimes to go slow. So that versatility, which is because we have older, skilled guys, showed itself today, and we're able to hold off the run. Uh, this seems – this is the second straight game. West Virginia trapped and pressed a lot, too. Um, is there something that you are seeing or something that you're telling your guys – you wouldn't think with two senior guards in the backcourt you'd be more susceptible to something like that. But why have back-to-back -back teams tried this on you? I think more that it's their team's strategy. I think it's who, who those teams are. Um, you know, Vanderbilt being down by in such a big hole probably turned it up more so because you, know, you just need to generate some energy and some momentum and steals. In West Virginia, you know, that's part of who they are. Uh, and obviously they had, they had success against us, unfortunately, with it. Uh, but no, I, I'm confident. I thought, I thought Grant came up and really helped us with the press. Uh, being somebody that everybody's comfortable throwing the ball to, he makes good decisions, gets the ball back to a guard, then we come down. Uh, and also, when you play with such a big lead, you know, are you going to attack? You know, I, I thought we left some points out there at the beginning of the second half. When, when they were that much more aggressive, we stayed aggressive offensively. And we missed some shots at, at or around the rim, which I think could have kept the lead where it was or, or closer to where it was. But uh, I'm confident that, that we can handle pressure and that that'd be something that our team would be good at. Chris, were there any thoughts to uh, possibly put Isaiah Wilson in as a defensive sub with uh, when, when Scottie Pippen was starting to heat up? Yeah, I would say uh, I'm always thinking about putting him in, and I wish I had more opportunities. He, he's a better player than the minutes that he's getting, for sure. Um, and he is a good, really good defender. Uh, you know, and I thought I, I was hopeful in the back of my mind at halftime that we'd have a chance to get more guys playing time uh, during the course of the game. But that's not college basketball, you know, and uh, – I thought Blake and Jacob, you know, I thought they did a decent job. Our ball screen coverage, you know, they involved Gisu, number one, and the ball screen a lot in the second half. Since he's such a good shooter, now that guy hedging is a little more tentative in how hard he wants to hedge because he has to get back to, to a shooter. Uh, that gave us some problems and something we need to look at and work on and depend on everybody else to help on the shooter. But, yeah, Isaiah is a very good player. Um, you know, he happens to be behind two great guards, but he, he's going to play and he's going to play more and, and he's going to help us. 
and not, not to jump ahead too far. I know you've got one coming up this Friday, but have there been any uh, updates or, or thoughts on possibly adding a uh, ninth non-conference game this Sunday? So far, there's not, but it's early in the day, Noah. And so <laughs> this, this, is really, uh, this is really such a different time. Um, and we just have to see. You know, every day I, I'm scrolling through the scores, and at the bottom, uh, they're listing games that were postponed or canceled. And so there, there could be opportunities. Uh, it, it seems like it's dwindling, those opportunities, but we'll, we'll see. John, maybe you know this. Sorry, Noah. It, with the Virginia Villanova game, why was that um, postponed? I believe that's on Virginia's end, Coach. They're still uh, in shutdown mode, I think. Okay, okay. thank you. 